Hello and welcome to Arvada Insights. I'm Arvada's Mayor Mark Williams. We're starting off the new year by getting to know our city council members. There are seven of us, including myself. Today we're visiting with Bob Dyer from District 4. Bob, welcome. Thank you. So Bob, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I've been a resident of Arvada for a long time. I uh, moved with my family in uh, 1959, uh, went to school in Arvada, uh, and uh, was elected to city council in 1991 to 99, and then in 2007 uh, to the present. Great. So how would you describe District 4? Well, District 4 is uh, mostly the, the western, northwestern part of Arvada. It, uh, kind of runs uh, from about Sims uh, on the east side uh, to uh, down to about 64th and everything west and north uh, of that. Talk a little bit about the parks and golf courses, things of that nature in District 4. Well, we have uh, one golf course in District 4, that's Westwoods, uh, which is the newest golf course. It, it opened about 1993. Uh, we have a lot of uh, parks that we're very proud of. Uh, we have Long Lake Ranch, which is a regional park, uh, has uh, quite a few things and it's not even fully developed yet. Uh, of course, that's where uh, the school district has their North Area Athletic Center. And uh, we have Dog Park, uh, Disc Golf Park. We have all kinds of things going on. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great district. So what's happening to the old Albertsons at 64th and in Indiana? Well, that's one thing I get a lot of questions about uh, because now they, people are seeing that there are construction uh, trailers outside and that sort of thing. Uh, Albertsons sold their property, which was just the grocery store. Uh, they owned that uh, rather than the whole center. They sold it uh, and Walmart has purchased it. They're opening up a grocery store, which people say a, a Walmart grocery store? Yes, uh, it's a fairly new concept for them. It's just groceries. Uh, they're not expanding beyond the Albertsons building, uh, so it's just essentially going to be changing from one grocery store to another. Another question that I'm sure you get asked as often as I do, why don't we have more high-class restaurants in Arvada? What's your thoughts on that? Well, uh, we have a few, but obviously we could use a lot more. Uh, for a city of our size, uh, we are definitely lacking. Uh, one of the problems is that uh, restaurants have to locate uh, where there's a lot of traffic, where the demographics are, are good for disposable okay. income. And we typically don't have a lot of uh, major anchors, obviously, uh, like, like most cities do. And so that's some of the things we have to be taking a look at. I don't know if the Walmart uh, grocery store will change the dynamics around 64th in Indiana. Hopefully it will, and, um, and then we could see maybe a, a good restaurant or two uh, added to the mix. Well, another type of major anchor would be our Trader Joe's. Uh, uh, yes. What, what are you doing to help us get one of those? Well, you know, a lot of people say, well, you ought to just go out and get one. Well, it's not that easy. Uh, the, as a matter of fact, the Arvada Economic Development Association and the Economic Development Department in the city uh, have been working on those sorts of things for many, many years. Uh, they've been in contact with Trader Joe's for over a decade, I think, trying to convince them just to come to Colorado. Uh, they always said that the liquor laws uh, would keep them from coming, but apparently that didn't create too big of a problem in the end. Uh, but we've talked to others. Uh, I think uh, Colorado came on the uh, radar screen for Ikea is in part because of Arvada, trying to talk to them about coming to Arvada. Right. Didn't work out for our location, but they found a, one for themselves. Uh, same thing with Cabela's. Uh, they looked at 52nd and Wadsworth uh, and ended up saying they thought maybe a little farther west. I don't think that has turned out quite as well as Wheat Ridge had hoped, but uh, we are constantly uh, going out looking for new opportunities. Uh, we don't sit back and wait for them to come to us. Well, and you've been a great representative for the City of Arvada Council on the Arvada Economic Development Association. What other boards do you sit on for the, for well, the city? Well, I've been on that one now for uh, four years. I'm in my fifth year uh, on that one. And same thing with the uh, Arts Council, the uh, Arvada Council for the Arts and Humanities uh, that's connected to the Arvada Center. Uh, and we're working on a, a number of things with that uh, organization in uh, planning for the future. Uh, the executive director for the Arvada Center has moved on to the Colorado Symphony Orchestra. And the Arts Council is looking at, at its future and um, the future of the Arvada Center as well. Uh, I'm also newly appointed to the Historic Old Town Arvada Association and uh, just getting my feet wet with that. But 
Uh, that is an organization that promotes businesses and Main Street uh, program in, in Old Town. And old, I think Old Town has definitely uh, really improved so much over the years and, and there's a certain excitement and vibe now that wasn't there before. I, guess, I think it's all very accurate. Bob, you bring such a wealth of experience because of your many years in Arvada, your business background, your support of the Chamber of Commerce. You are a true asset to the City Council. I thank you for the time and energy you put on our city for the behalf of all the citizens. Well, thank you. It's been a pleasure being here. That's great. I'm Arvada Mayor Mark Williams. Thanks for watching Arvada Insights. We'll see you again next time.